Is he ready? He's ready. And we're back. Here I am, Fly Navarro with Fly Zone Fishing. I'm here with my man, Rich, from Cod and Capers. Rich, what do we got here? Florida Pompano. How do you know he's from Florida? Did you ask him? He's from Florida. He is? He was caught in Florida. He's from Florida. Well, then there you have it. What are we going to do with him? We're going to fillet him. Okay. First, what we're going to do is we're going to take take our knife. We're going to cut away these, these, these bottom fins. I'm going to stand back when you do that. A lot of people, this is an easier way for me to clean them. A lot of people, I take the head off first. Okay. To me, it's easier and it's faster. You're a professional, you know. so I trust you. What we're going to do is we're going to just cut right down his throat. And we're going to follow. We're going to come right behind his peck fins with the knife. You'll feel the butt. You'll feel what we're doing is we're leaving the collar attached to the, the head. Okay. So we don't want the, the collarbone onto the fillet. When we get down about just behind his head, we're going to curve the knife. Now we're going to follow the top of his head all the way right out. Holy so we get all that meat right there. Rich, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were hungry and you just bit his head off. It looks like it, doesn't it? It, it looks does. like somebody just bit, right, bit his head right off. I'm just going to take this gut him like that. Now, what I'll do is here's I'll take the tip, just the tip of the knife, just kind of breaking the skin. This fish here is a little bit, this one's a little more difficult to, you know, to, to it's very easy, the bones are a lot smaller, so it's very easy to cut through his rib, you know, okay. through the whole, you know, it's very easy to cut through the backbone of this fish. So what you want to do is just kind of separate that meat. Now I'm going to take my knife, I'm just going to try and follow that backbone. And same thing. I'm going to take the tip of the knife, just separate the pin bones away from the fillet. Cut right down the side of the, the, the rib cage. Nice. That's it. There might be just a little bit of a rib bone. All you have to do is just take it all, scoop that up, just kind of trim it up, make it look nice. Clean it up. That's it. Look at that. Very simple. One more time. Have you ever considered counting how many times you do this in a day? God, no. How about if I had a little counter here for you where you could just... You're more welcome to come stand behind me for that counter. Hey, man. No. That's it. But see how there I actually kind of... You I, kind of I did. through it. Because it, it, they're, they're so thin, you know, the fillets are, and, and when you're trying to... This fish here, you know, a lot of people shy away from cleaning these the pompano because it's it is a very easy fish to. Yeah, but they're so tasty. They are. How about skinning them? That's the hard part. Oh, thanks. Now you're telling me. Before you skin it, you want to take and kind of just trim that hard edge off the bottom of the belly. Here, I'll hold that for you. <laughs> now instead, now. On the pompano, we're going to hold the blade flat. Okay. It's, you know, we're trying to put it level with the with 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 the fillet table. You not like the snapper or the grouper. You don't want to angle it. You want to hold it why flat. Why is that? Because the skin is very very easy to cut through on this. Okay. Very easily. I may even cut through it in this one. Let's I believe see. in you. I know you can do this. And same thing. We're just going to be pulling. pulling on the skin, and you know, just moving the knife back and forth. Now, I see there's a little that bit. That was actually pretty good. That's now, but here's a question. How do you fix it? Very easily. So all, you do, all you're doing is just kind of just getting right up against it. And you're just kind of trying to cut it away. There you go. That's it. So it's definitely not something to be intimidated by. No, no, exactly. I mean, it, it does take a little bit of a practice to, to, for skinning pompano. We have one more fillet. You think we can get it right this time? I think so. I, again, I believe in you. Be the ball. 
Pee. Same thing, just kind of pulling on that skin. I love oh. it. I cut through it. Oh. See? But show us how to fix it up. Very easily. Just take the edge of your, the, the blade of your knife and just kind of just kind of skin it, skin it right off. That's it. You know, they do have the pin bones like a snapper does, and it, they don't go very back. They don't go back very far, about, about right there. That's it. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. Beautiful. And I, you know, skin and pompano. It, it, to me, as the season goes on, say more into the spring, the fish have already spawned, so they're not as they don't have as much fat. Okay. They skin easier in the spring than they do, like say the fall or the winter time. It's just because of all the fat that's in the it's in the fillet. So it makes it easier to fillet. Uh, well, or to oh, skin. Much easier to skin in the spring. Just well, the, when the fish are migrating back north. Okay. You know, and they've they've done their thing. They've already spawned. They're you know now they're they're leaned out. And Way up north. I thought you said these are Florida pompano. I'm talking about when they're migrating up into North Florida. Oh, okay. I was just checking. Anyway, thanks for joining the three of us here in the fly zone. <laughs> <laughs>